I've used GNOME Do for a long time now and I haven't talked about it but it is one of my favorite applications to use because what GNOME Do does is it launches any applications that you have installed quickly and efficiently right let me give you an example uh, to activate it you use the hotkey which is uh, windows and space or super key and space whatever you want to call it and you see this menu right <clears throat> now just type in the first a few letters of the program you want uh, for this example we're gonna use a uh, GTK file right and you can see the icon pops out already Just push enter and you have it now like I said it can work with any program that you have so we say oh terminal right say so it's quick now the thing I like about GNOME do is it remembers what you open right it's, it doesn't go in ABC order no no I mean it just remembers uh, what you use frequently and the next time you type that in it's gonna be your first choice like let's say um, WinFF right I use that a lot so it's not gonna go in ABC order if I just type W it'll pop out WinFF see and they remember what I'd done you know which which program I use a lot and that would be my first option so that's what I like about GNOME Do now GNOME Do has updated their shit to uh, version 0 0.8 or something like that and they have this new feature which is a dock okay now to have the dock um, you don't need compass to be on to use it okay but uh, to activate it there's an icon up here if you don't have the icon um, there's another way to do it but if you have the icon just right click on it and you see preference and you go in there or if you don't have it just uh, use the high key and there's a little arrow right here and you click on it and preference <coughs> now I recommend just checking all this on the general but after that you go to appearance and uh, right here this is how you activate docky there's a little docky thing right there and that's what you have to do that's all you gotta do so we're gonna activate it right now And as you can see, we have a dock down here, right? Let's see. See, we have a dock down here, and it does. It has the fish eye zoom. You know, if you're into that, it's kind of like the the Mac zoom, the fish eye zoom. So it's the same deal. Uh, like I said, it's similar to an Advent dock because uh, it needs compiz to uh, you know for you to use this. If you don't have compass and you're using MetaCity, it's not gonna work. <coughs> but GNOME Do can work on both, so um, there's your trade-off. Uh, this one is good because um, they have some few options in here. Like, um, let me see. They have the the calendar. I don't need that, but um, you can turn off um, the fish eye zoom if you like. Um, there's some option here to turn it off. Say there's the zoom. You can automatically hide if you like. So those are just some of the options right now. Um, and you and this the good thing about this is um, all the programs that you have used in the fast uh, in the past like few minutes or something is here in the middle. See, these are the programs that I've opened like in the last like five or six minutes, right? and uh, they will put it there now I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing but um, it might you know be more efficient if you have the programs that you have used okay right there for you so you don't have to use GNOME Do and open it again but this one um, is you can still use GNOME Do with it because this is a one-two combo right you know use GNOME Do and the Doctor launch so they're both launchers you know and this is GNOME Do. All you have to do is click on this and you have, you know, your GNOME Do again and just start typing whatever you need to do, right? So you type in WinFF and there you go, you have it back again. You can start it up again. See, there we go. Uh, you can use the hot key if you like. The hot key. And there you go, you see the bottom? It goes back to uh, uh, the GNOME Do status and you just type in whatever you need to type, right? Terminal. And there you go. 
and I like that. Now, <clears throat> I don't know about the docky because it is kind of jerky to me. It's not smooth like I, the way I'll like it right now. But in the future, if they update it and they fix everything to my liking, then uh, I don't I don't have a reason to, you know to to use another dock because um, you know I like Gnome Do and I like the dock and the combo is a great idea right I do have some you know options that I want to put like custom launchers here but uh, I haven't tried it yet and the plugins uh, it doesn't work as of right now so I can't talk about that but overall I like the combo and I like the idea of it so I uh, check it out uh, you have to get the dev file if you're on 8.10 but in John T it should be in your repository I believe um, so that's it Gnome do and Docky.